Celebrities are normal people just like you and me. That means even they can embarrass themselves. That's why today on Beyond the Screen, I'm going to be listing the top 10 biggest celebrity fails of 2021 so far, part two. I'm Mackenzie, and make sure to subscribe if you're new here. And at number 10, Erica Jane and Tom Girardi. Erica Jane and her husband Tom Girardi were beloved cast members of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, until Erica filed for divorce and everyone saw just how shady the two actually were. Tom was one of the most respected lawyers ever, until recently when it was exposed that he stole money from his clients. Even worse, his clients were victims of terrible crimes, so he was stealing from people that desperately needed the money. At this time, we don't know how involved Erica was with his scams, and we don't know if she new money that they were using was stolen. However, it was reported that her own company, called EJ Global, got $20 million from Tom. And apparently this was dirty money. This could lead to a paper trail where it becomes clear that Erica was involved and used stolen money to fund her lavish life. And at number 9, Daniel Kaluuya. Daniel Kaluuya dropped Jaws when he won the award for the best actor in a supporting role for Judas and the Black Messiah at the 2020 Oscars, but not in the way that he hoped. Obviously, after he won the award, he was ecstatic and was overwhelmed while giving his acceptance speech. But near the end of the speech, it kind of went off the rails and he spoke about how everyone should be celebrating life and the fact that we're all breathing and walking, calling it incredible. Then he added, quote, My mom met my dad. They had sex. It's amazing. The best part was that at that point, the camera panned to his mother and sister who looked shocked and horrified about what he just said. Thankfully, it was hilarious, but I'm sure he had some regrets after the fact. And at number 8, Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis. Ashton and Mila stirred up a huge debate when they went on the Armchair Expert podcast and revealed they don't wash their two kids, quote, unless they can see dirt on them. Ashton said, quote, if you can see dirt on them, clean them. Otherwise, there's no point. Mila says this came from her childhood, where she didn't shower much because they were poor and she didn't always have hot water as a kid. So this then translated over to her adult life. Ashton says that he washes his, quote, armpits and crotch daily and nothing else ever. But after his revelation sparked a lot of backlash online, Kristen Bell came out in support of their stance. She revealed that her and Dax also do not wash their kids very much. Apparently they, quote, are a big fan of waiting for the stink. I guess it's up for interpretation if their bathing habits are a fail or not. And at number 7, Sia. Sia's first directorial debut, Music, might have ruined her entire movie career. The movie was released in February of 2021, and even before its release, it was already getting widespread criticism. The film is about an autistic girl who was brought under the care of her half-sister after the passing of their mother. Originally, it faced backlash for casting Maddie Ziegler to play music in the film when she was not autistic. But after its release, it was criticized for not accurately portraying those on the autism spectrum, as well as showing harmful and dangerous restraint methods in the film that were widely condemned by those in the community. In response to all the outrage, C ended up deactivating her social media accounts. And at number 6, Lana Del Rey. Lana Del Rey was called out for being tone deaf after she responded to the lack of diversity on her album cover. It all started when she posted a photo of the album cover for Chemtrails Over the Country Club, alongside a caption describing it as beautiful music, amid turmoil and upheaval. After the post, there were some comments calling out the lack of diversity on the album cover, as it shows Lana with many of her friends in a black and white photo. Lana responded in a lengthy comment. In part, she said that the people on the cover are her good friends, and many of them are people of color, adding that she's always been very inclusive. But things went south when she stated that, quote, my best friends are rappers. My boyfriends have been rappers. I guess equating being a rapper to not being white. These comments got tons of hate, accusing Lana of white fragility and being very tone deaf. Halfway number 5, Reese Witherspoon. This one is potentially a fail depending on how you look at it. Reese Witherspoon started her production company, Hello Sunshine, so that women's voices and stories could be heard in the media, and her production company has had great success, churning out successful projects like Big Little Lies, The Morning Show, and Little Fires Everywhere. However, Reese recently announced that she sold Hello Sunshine for upwards of $900 million to another media company, which got tons of backlash, especially after it was revealed that the people running this new media company are two men, who were also backed by the Blackstone Group, which is definitely against the mission of the company, which was to elevate women's voices and have women dictate how they are portrayed in the media. 
And at number 4, Kendall Jenner. Kendall Jenner is looking very shady now that she's being sued by Italian fashion brand Lujo for not showing up to her photo shoots. In the lawsuit, it says that Kendall did not fulfill her contractual obligations to the company after she didn't attend a photo shoot last year. Kendall was supposed to be paid $1.5 million in exchange for two photo shoots with the brand, and she was already paid $1.35 million in 2020 after she attended the first shoot in 2019. But the second shoot in 2020 was pushed back due to the pandemic. In the suit, it claims that Kendall did not respond to quote, urgent requests and communications on numerous occasions when the brand tried to reschedule the shoot. To make matters worse, the suit comes on the heels of the Keeping Up with the Kardashians reunion, where Kendall tried to refute the claims her modeling career was handed to her. And at number 3, Trisha Paytas. Trisha Paytas is always getting in drama, but usually their loyal fans never waver in support. However, after Trisha's most recent feud with Ethan Klein, it seems the internet has turned on them. To make things worse, Trisha recently revealed that they were going on Keemstar's podcast called Mom's Basement. This was a big no-no to fans of H3 Productions because Ethan and Keemstar are sworn enemies. After it was revealed that Trish was collabing with Ethan's enemy, the internet had a lot to say. In the replies of the announcement tweet, people are calling her out for betraying Ethan and his crew. Many even pointed out the strain this could have on her fiance Moses' family because he is related to Ethan. Ethan even responded himself, tweeting quote, I'm not even gonna front or try and be funny, this just really makes me sad. And at number 2, Demi Lovato and Tana Mojo kiss. This is a fail depending on who you ask, but I personally thought it was pretty cringy. These two attended the premiere event for Paris Hilton's new Netflix show, Cooking with Paris. And well at the premiere, they decided to record a TikTok of them kissing, if you can even call it that. Because basically, Tana just sticks her mouth in Demi's mouth. The caption on the video is, quote, how we are off camera 24-7. And the audio asked the question, quote, why does everyone think we hooked up? With the pair clearly joking around and making us think that they are hooking up. The comments under the video were pretty savage, with people telling Tana to quit dating Disney stars, as well as people calling Tana out for always putting her tongue in other people's mouths. Tana and Demi clearly had fun with all the attention, but I think we as a society need to stop giving people clout for just kissing videos like this. They are so annoying. <laughs> And finally, number one, Gabby Hanna. Gabby Hanna released a docu-series recently trying to address all the hate against her on the internet, but she managed to make things way worse for herself, specifically when she brought up the Escape the Night drama. In Gabby's video, she tried to make it look like the creators of her series, Joy Graceffa and Danielle Preta, treated her horribly, but they ended up making response videos to prove that Gabby was the real nightmare on set. One point of contention was about the food that Gabby was served well on set. She apparently threw a fit over the fact that the crew did not give her food that met her dietary restrictions. However, Joey exposed that she didn't even bother to fill out the form for her meals beforehand, so they had no idea that she had these strict dietary restrictions. But they still personally brought her food to accommodate her, even though she never ended up eating it. Apparently, Gabby also had a problem with her costume not fitting, but again, she didn't show up for the fittings. There were also shoot days where Gabby refused to show up because she didn't like her call time, clearly proving who the real problem was. So that's all for the list guys, let me know your thoughts on this one below, but before I go, I'm gonna shout out some comments from scandals that happened at award shows part 2. Ismail said, Mackenzie is back here again, yes yes. It's like I think me, Brie, and Joss were on the channel mostly, yeah. Then Chris Brown, lol, said, Mackenzie is your favorite celebrity you want to meet. Probably should have thought of this before I put this in here. Um. You know the thing with me, I don't even really care about celebrities very much, I like influencers a lot more, but one celebrity I really like and respect as an actress is Jessica Chastain. I think she's a beautiful, lovely, wonderful actress. Then Duke said, Mackenzie is hot. Thank you, needed that today, Duke. All right guys, that's all for the video today. Thanks so much for sticking around if you made it all the way here. If you liked the video and want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel below. I've been your host, Mackenzie Smith. Make sure to check us out on social media and I'll catch you all in the next one.